Hi, my name is Gemma Budd. I'm an animator and illustrator and I'm working on a project at the moment with the Centre for Rural Economy and Dr Paul Cowley and Berwick Visual Arts, which started off um, and was inspired by a um, report that was led by Dr Paul Cowley called Brexit Implications for the Rural North of England. Um, I'd previously worked with the Centre for Rural Economy and Berwick Visual Arts before as artists in residence back in 2016, working with local dairy farmers about how their businesses were evolving and some of the obstacles they'd faced over the previous decades. And that resulted in a four metre long um, moving image mural, which you can see a bit of now. Uh, yeah, I quite enjoyed it, yes. Uh -huh. We built them up and tried different things because the land was pretty impoverished. We used to have about a thousand litres a day till we got the quotas came in. The government decided that there was too much milk. I don't know whether it was government or what food was, but they decided there was too much milk, so they brought in milk quotas and they cut our milk by about 25%. Well, one is regularly frustrated, certainly. <laughs> Usually, um, just the price, actually. You know, when we did it with the Milk Marketing Board, <coughs> we used to have meetings at various places, and I always remember at Belford meeting a fellow who was boss of Allied Foods, and he told me then, he says, if we can get milk, 14 pence a litre from anywhere, Europe or Ireland, will do that. And that was the, the, the way that the dairy prices dropped. One of the things that the report focuses on is our departure from the common agricultural policy and um, ideas and thoughts about what might replace it. I think there's talk at the moment of um, ELMS coming in, the Environment Land Management Scheme. So what I wanted to do was to talk to six land-based businesses in the North Northumbrian area about their thoughts and feelings about leaving the, the CAP and um, how they were planning to move their businesses to become more sustainable in the light of that event, both environmentally and economically, and any kind of innovation that was kind of going to happen in that gap. So we began by going up to that kind of area again around, um, mainly around Berwick, but also around kind of uh, Hadrian's Wall kind of area, um, asking different land-based businesses about their approaches and thoughts and feelings um, from very small food producers, um, also thinking about the role of land use in energy production. And then the idea is to... Um, build a landscape installation based on what these the kind of insights that came from um, these interviews um, again I started to do some kind of sketches of ideas of things um, that were inspired by what some of the people the themes that some of the people spoke about last year and then and we managed to secure Arts Council funding to actually put the piece together I think one of the main obstacles now is um, actually continuing the relationship with the different businesses and finding new people to talk to in the event of COVID-19. We're also looking at themes about how landscape is valued. At least 70% of um, the, the United Kingdom is built up of um, agricultural land. Um, so I think farmers are under increasing pressure to um, create kind of multifaceted landscape which is able to produce food and also to main Tain habitats and biodiversity and then all being well the project should be um, exhibited at the Seal Landscape Discovery Centre in September and the Gymnasium Gallery in Berwick in the spring of 2021.